Thoughts on Euro so far? Hmm. I mean, like the 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 least suspecting games have been the most entertaining to watch. Like, let's say, like let's take the last night's eight pm game, the Netherlands France game. I was, I, I literally made Freya watch it because like, it's France Netherlands. Like, we should have dinner and watch this game. Like, why are you watching this one? I'm like, it's France Netherlands. It's a big game. It'd be sick. <laughs> it was, it was poo. I was saying, Shavi Simmons got robbed of his goal. Um, England games never hand. Wow, what a load of, I don't even know what to say. Popo. It's big popo. I don't know. I don't know who to blame anymore. Is it Southgate Ball? I don't even know. And it's like, poor Trent Alexander Arnold's taken all the brunt, right? And it's one of the things that I swear if he just played Gordon out on the wing and Watkins up front and even have Saka as their front three, I feel like Trent actually might be get utilised because, you know, he actually could ping some passes with some runners. Watkins will ping off the back of the defenders constantly. If it, like, I'm not even sure if it's Trent's fault. Obviously, he's not a DM, realistically, but still. Cole Palmer had anything? I don't had a chance yet. Not, not, and we're trying to replace Calvin Phillips in, two, in 2024. Forgetting we have Wharton and Kuliwainu. Sweet, mate. Yeah, sure. And what I also noticed, noticed as well is that like other international teams, they kind of got the mindset of like a lot of players play 60 minutes and have an impact 30 minutes up. So worst case scenario, you do drop Foden and you give Bellingham 60 and then you put Foden on in the 10 for 30 or vice versa. Or you drop Bellingham into the 6 or the 8 and have Foden at 10. So Foden 10, Bellingham 8, Declan 6 also works. But who knows? 